In the previous video, we saw how the authentication attack can be useful and how we can use it to disconnect any device that is within our Wi-Fi range from any network that is within our Wi-Fi range as well. In this video, we're going to take the deauthentication attack to the next step using a tool called Airdrop NG. Airdrop NG is a script that will carry out the attack we explained in the previous video based on a rules file. So we're gonna have a file that contains rules and according to these rules, Airdrop NG will uh, disassociate, will disconnect some devices and will allow some devices. So we can disconnect, we can prevent a device from connecting to any network that is within our Wi-Fi range. We can prevent all devices from connecting to a certain network. We can prevent all devices from connecting to all networks. Um, we can allow some devices and uh, deny some devices. So we'll have much more freedom with the rules uh, by using AirDrop NG. First of all though, we're gonna have to install AirDrop because it doesn't come in installed with Kali Linux. So in this, in this video, we're just gonna talk about how to install AirDrop NG. Installant is very simple. I'm gonna attach a text file to install it. So this is a text file and it has the commands that you need to install AirDrop NG. Now I have AirDrop NG already installed. So some of these commands are gonna give errors. Some of them are gonna tell me that I already have these packages and some of them will say they're gonna replace a few files. So for me, ignore the errors. For you, just copy and paste these commands. Um, there's a few de dependencies that we need to install first before we can install AirDrop NG. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. So we're gonna go on user SRC and install a few libraries. And as I said, I have them already installed. Then we're gonna clone a Lorcon library and try to install it. Okay, looks like I had a problem with my internet connection, so I just reset my connection. I'm gonna try to clone Lorcon again. And here we go, that's done. Then we're gonna open the uh, its directory and we're gonna install it. And that's installing it right now. Now the next step is to install the Python extension of Lorcon. So that's done now. And then we're gonna install the Ruby one. And that's done as well. Um, we're gonna clone Aircrack ng repo now so we can install airdrop from it. Done. Then we're gonna install airdrop ng using these commands. And that's it installed. The last thing we're gonna do is we're going to update the OUI file for airdrop ng and that's the file that contains the hardware manufacturers um, that we can use to, to disassociate devices using airdrop. So using airdrop and using the rules, uh, we can disassociate devices based on their MAC address or based on their hardware manufacturer. So this will update the file that contains the hardware manufacturers. You can, after we run this command, um, airdrop, airdrop ng is gonna be fully installed. We can use it, we're gonna use it in the next video. You might, when you use it, uh, you might get a message complaining about the OUI file and that it can't be found. So to fix that, you can just use this command. But for me, it didn't happen. Um, so I'm not gonna need to use this command, but if it does, you can just copy the OUI file into the directory that it's gonna complain about. It's gonna say that that directory doesn't have the OUI file. So this is still updating now. Okay, the OUI file now has been updated and airdrop has been successfully installed. We can just run airdrop ng help just to see if it's installed and we can see that it has been successfully installed.